Hello and welcome to a discussion on financial accounting and here we will try to understand the calculation of economic value added popularly known as, as EVA. Economic value added is the excess of no PAT net operating profit after tax but before interest over the capital charge. So EVA is equal to no PAT minus CC. A no PAT can be calculated from PAT or sales or PBIT or even from CFO but here we are just using PAT is a profit after tax plus interest into 1 minus T. In other words, no PAT is a profit of an unlevered company or unlevered firm. That means we are removing the impact of interest on the profit. Assuming that there are no other accounting adjustments, no PAT is equal to PAT plus interest into 1 minus T. Capital charge is the cost of the money and the capital charge is calculated by recognizing cost of debt as well as the cost of equity. So capital charge is VAC, weighted average cost of capital into the capital employed. And capital employed is equity plus interest bearing liabilities. It may be short term or a long term, but is a, in all interest bearing liabilities are recognized. Let us see this example where we have the balance sheet income statement. We'll find no PAT by using PAT. So PAT is equal to 51,100. Add interest, uh, interest into 1 minus T, into 1 minus T, and T is 30%. So interest is equal to 20 plus 12 plus 12 into 0 0.70 so PAT uh, no PAT is equal to 73,500 we can also find no PAT by, by, by using PBIT or EBIT earning before interest which is 200,000 minus 25,000 minus uh, sorry uh, minus 20,000 minus depreciation that will be a bit and less tax on that the tax is equal to tax is equal to 0 0.30 so 0 0.30 so The no PAT is equal to 73,500. Or we can say like this, show like this, PAT 51,000, add interest, and interest is 20,000 plus 12, and less the tax shield, tax shield on interest, tax shield on interest is into 0 0.30 so PAT no PAT can be calculated from PAT or a bit and no PAT is PAT plus interest into 1 minus T or no PAT is equal to a bit in minus tax now we'll find the capital charge so capital charge will have equity and equity in this case is uh, capital plus reserves is equity then you have 10% bonds, interest-bearing liabilities, and you have 8% long-term loan, interest-bearing liabilities. See, 10% bond is 200,000, and 8% loans is 150,000. The cost of equity is given already, 20%. We'll use this, and the cost of the debt, cost of debt is I into 1 minus T. Cost of debt is equal to I into 1 minus T. I is 10% here. So therefore it is 7% is I into 1 minus T. And in case of 8%, it is 5.6% is the I into 1 minus T. 
So the capital charge will be Ke into E plus Kd into D. So the capital charge is 122,400. So EVA is equal to no pad minus the capital charge. And in this case, EVA is negative. But it's important to observe that in this case, the EVA is negative despite the fact that the company is having positive return on equity and positive earning per share. So it is possible for a company to have negative EVA that means destroy the shareholders wealth despite having positive accounting indicators like return on equity or positive earning per share. Thank you very much.